Hello, this is Jill from Paper Daisy Crafting. Thank you for joining me again today and play, pressing play on the video. Um, today we're going to be making these little simple cards here. Um, we're continuing my daisy themed week, um, focusing on the delightful daisy suite of products in the annual catalogue. And um, we're on day four today. Um, and we're making these little cards, as always, very clean and simple. You know my style by now. But I think they're really effective. I really love how the colours work together on these and they're really simple to put together. Um, so let's get started. How did I make them? Let's have a look. So first thing I need is a card blank. I've cut it from our thick Whisper White card stock which makes for a really sturdy card blank. Really nice weight of card. And I have um, cut it so that it's 24 centimeters along there and 12 along there and then scored at 12 so that you end up with a square a 12 centimeter square card if you're working in inches it's four and three quarter inches each side um, along there so that's our card blank and then as you can see there are four little coloured shapes here on the card which start off life as squares. These are four centimetre square or one and a half inch square squares. As you can see, I'm going to use a different colour scheme today. I'm going to use Bermuda Bay and Lemon Lime Twist. But you can see on my cards, they're not just squares. I've rounded off the corners. Now, we don't have a, round, a corner rounder punch in my catalogue anymore. But never fear because we do have the envelope punch board. And on the envelope punch board... If you tuck the card in here that will cut round your corner so on each of my little pieces of card I just need to round two corners so push your card in and make sure it's well in and then just press down and you'll get your corner rounded nicely so I just need to do two corners on each of my pieces of card like that I quite like this shape with the sharp corners and the curved corners. Quite appeals to me. So let's do another Bermuda Met Bay one. I hope you've all been enjoying this week of delightful daisy projects. That was my favourite product suite from the annual catalogue. And I've been dying to do this week. But because this punch was out of stock for so long, I delayed it until I knew that they were going to be back in stock. There we go. I've got my four squares there. And what I then need to do is find the centre of my card. So in order to do this, I'm going to take a ruler. As I said, it's 12 centimetres across. So I need to find the six, six centimetre point, which is there. And I'm just going to check along this side and make sure that's lined up. So there's the six, so there's where the two will cross. So I'm just going to rub that one out so it doesn't confuse me. There we go. And then... I'm just going to line up and I'm going to get my glue. I've left it outside. One minute. My good old Tombow glue. Um, and I'm going to put a little bit of Tombow on the back here. If it'll come out, there we go. Probably a little bit too much there, hey ho. Um, and I'm going to place that. Now I'm not going to place it right on my centre marking. I'm going to send, place it about half a centimetre off so that there's a gap between these. So that one can go there and then a Bermuda Bay one to go next to it. And again I'm lining up the pointed corners in the middle but a little way apart. And don't worry about that pencil mark in the middle because with that's going to be covered up with the daisy in a minute. Then another lemon lime twist. And another Bermuda Bay. Very simple little card this. Actually very, very little stamping on it as well. Um, I quite often make cards with no stamping. Before I started um, getting into stamping up, I'd n I never used rubber stamps. I only d made cards with dies and things. Um, but I've been converted to stamping. 
since I've joined stamping up. Right, so there's my card with my four little um, corners in. Don't think that one's quite straight. Luckily it's with Tombow, I can straighten it up a bit. And then I need the daisy to go in the middle. And all I've done with the daisy is punch it out of a piece of Whisper White cardstock. This is just our thinner wide cardstock because it doesn't need to be terribly thick for this. So just punch two daisies out of Whisper White cardstock. You could just use one, but it's a bit spindly, I think. I think it needs a double layer to make it. So just a little bit of Tombow in the centre there so that I can layer them on top of each other. Overlap the petals. There we go. And then, oh, just gone off centre again. This is why the Tombow is so good, because you'll get a chance to reposition which is fantastic. If you use something like Fast Fuse or the tape, you don't get that opportunity. There we go. Just going to let that dry for a second and then I'm going to find my little tiny piece of Daffodil Delight card, which I'm going to stamp with the st stamp um, from the stamp set that's the middle of the daisy, just gives it a little bit of texture. And I'm going to stamp it in Daffodil Delight, the same colour as the card. So I'm just going to stamp that on there. And then I'm going to use my half an inch punch to punch that out, which should fit that shape perfectly. Can you see there? I don't know how well you can see the stamping, but there we go. Okay, and then that goes in the centre with a little tiny bit more glue of my card. There we go. And then I'm just going to use my bone fold. I'm going to do it carefully because the centre's still wet. Just to turn the petals up a little bit so that give a bit 3D to the card. Not too much, just so that they lift off the page a little bit. There we go. And then all that's left for me to do is to put a little bit of Tombow. I'm going to put it on the back of the daisy. And stick it on my card. And there's my card finished. How lovely is that? So you can see all three of my cards in different colour schemes. Don't know which one you prefer. I'm really liking this one in the, the green and turquoise that I just made. Um, and what I also wanted to show you, I made this, this card for a friend. It was a friend's birthday a couple of months ago. And this was the card I made for her. Um, and I also made her a matching gift bag. I bought her a smelly candle, a nice scented candle. And I made her a matching gift bag. Um, bag to go with it so tomorrow I'll be back to show you how I made the gift matching gift bag but I think together they make quite a nice gift the card and the present together and that's all for today I told you it was quick very quick little card today I um, hope you enjoyed it I hope you'll have a go at making it yourself and I'll see you soon bye